Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I work at Valve. My favorite class is the spy. My name is at valvesoftware.com. All right, hey guys. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Gabe Newell Simulator 2.0. Uh, this is a Steam game where you get to play as your lord and savior, Lord Gaben, or Gabe Newell, the owner and creator of Valve and Steam and all the great games that they make. Let's go ahead and look at Steam mode. This is sort of a silly little mini game where you get to release games on Steam, so I can just click FPS and I'll get $2,000 a second. I'll just click all of them. And as you can see in the top right corner, my money's going up. I can eat a cake, I can release Half-Life 3, and I can buy upgrades, update, CSGO, FPS profits, blah 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 blah, produce Steam VR, produce Steam controller, all that good stuff. It's just kind of a poke and fun at, uh, or at uh, Steam. So let's go ahead and start the story mode, that's where the real action is. Air 404 level 3 not found. You're right, there is no level 3. So it looks like there's 7 levels total? maybe eight maybe there is a level three well anyways let's go ahead and start up level one today will be held in los angeles the g3 the biggest trade fair in the world regarding video games valve will take part in the event it will have some important announcement to make so let's go ahead and turn up the volume and watch this little cutscene so that's pretty much the end of my talk i mean i really am just saying this is how we think this is what's motivating our decisions uh you know we're kind of you know i don't know how to Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? Half-Life 3 confirmed! Okay, so here is uh, Gabe Newell himself. Let me quickly turn down the volume just a little bit so I don't hurt your ears. And there we go. Okay, so he has a cute little face, very polygony. Uh, as you can see, his textures are kind of clipping into each other, but I don't know, it's really funny. Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> okay, so you get to actually play as Gabe Newell. We are in Valve Studio. He has some funny animations. His crouch animation looks hilarious to me. Just, like, look at that. Look at his <laughs> giant butt. Oh, man. What kind of crab walk is that? Whoa. And then he also has a roll. And if you sprint and roll, you actually do a slide. Actually, I have to sprint for a little while. There we go. I was <laughs> sliding on the floor. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Boss, we have a problem. What is the problem? Calm down. What's the problem? After the announcement at the G3, bosses form other software house to throw a monkey wrench in the works. Have hidden our Half-Life 3's project in the depths of Valve and introduced some monsters in our office. What? Are you serious? Unfortunately, yes. And some aren't even able to escape and now are in fatal danger. Try to save them too. Damn, stay here. I'll slay these monsters. Yes, I will. Because I am Lord Gaben. Let's pick up this gun. There's some monsters in these offices. For some reason on the first level, you can't see where you're aiming. So it's very difficult to tell what you're aiming at. Because the mouse... The mouse is off-centered. I don't know why the mouse isn't in the center of the screen, but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to shoot. Let's go ahead and kill these creatures. Oh my god. Oh god, I can't tell what the heck I'm aiming at. Did I just fly in the air? I just died. What? <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, now if you want to play level 1 or go immediately to the final level, you have to quit and restart the game. Alright, I'm going to quit and restart real quick. All right, back on level one. Let's go ahead and just skip this part, grab the gun. As you can see, my mouse cursor goes off the screen, so I have to constantly like bring it back into the center. It's very, uh, it's very hard to tell. Oh, my aimer's back, okay, cool. So I restarted the game and now I can aim at these monsters. Nice, 
And I can actually tell what I'm shooting at. There's actually a bandage in here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. I don't know how to use the bandages though. I don't even know if there's a control screen in this game. But let's go ahead and just skip past these monsters. Here's some uh, TF2 portraits. There's a bunch of monsters over here. I'm just going to skip them, climb over this. There's a bunch of monsters over here that'll be running at me. I'm just going to slide away. Yeah. Up the stairs we go. I'm pretty sure they can't climb stairs, so I should be safe. Yep. I guess I can kill one of them. Bam. Okay, cool. So let's keep on moving. Some more pictures in here. I've only actually completed this first level, so that's kind of why I know where the monsters are spawning. And I'm stuck here until these monsters uh, despawn, because I'm way too fat to get by them. There we go. Gabe Newell! Yeah! Look <laughs> at that giant burger. That looks really good, actually. Uh, the maze. Oh, he's reaching for the cake! <laughs> he's stuck in the portal. That's funny. So this maze is kind of long. Hopefully I can navigate it well. Last time I got a bit lost. There's monsters that are that will come after you all over the place. I think there's actually some monsters to the left here. Yep. Bam, you're dead. Here's a weird death animation. You can hardly tell if he's alive or dead. Okay, so let's go ahead and run to the finish. Slide. <laughs> oh, I just love that you can just slide on, your, slide on your ass like that. Oh, that's the best roll. Uh-oh. Run. You can easily just run past all the enemies and go straight for the end. It's not too difficult. Alright, so here's the end. Go through this portal and then we'll go to level 2. Success! Level 2. Alright. So I'm in some sort of lab. Testing facility. Here's some guns. For some reason it's hard to pick up things. Sometimes. Here's another gun. Okay, so I have three guns. Cool. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I haven't completed this stage before, so I may get a bit lost. But with any luck, we should get through this. Oh, there's actually ammo in here. Uh-oh. I need to pick this up. Pistol bullet box? Two pistol bullets? Why do I need pistol bullets? I guess I'll switch to the pistol. Maybe the pistol is actually good. I'm gonna try to just run past all these enemies if I can. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, Gabe Newell. Counter-Strike Pro. Okay, let's go this way. I think I saw someone on YouTube actually play this level before. So I think I might have a good sense of where I'm going. Hey, hey, hey! You're not allowed to hit Gabe Newell. There we go. You run out of ammo very quickly in this game. And once you're out of ammo, you're pretty much screwed because there's not very many ammo pickups. Well, there's one. What was that for? Oh, it's for this gun. I mean, these environments look pretty cool. But the game itself is very, uh... I don't know how you how to describe it like primitive. Um, okay, so let's go up here. I believe the portal is coming up. Is it in that room? Yep. Alright, run to the portal. And level 3 maybe? Or is level 3 glitched? Oh, no level 3. Guess we'll play level 4. If it'll load. Uh oh. <laughs> Is it not gonna load? Shit. Okay, good.
Uh-oh. Where, where was my gun? Oh, there's a gun. Give me that AK. Give me that pistol. I mean, to be, to be perfectly honest, this game really isn't that bad. I mean, it's it's really funny that you're playing as Gabe Newell, and that's pretty much the only reason to buy this game. But it's really not too horrible. I mean, I've seen a lot worse, and for some reason I didn't kill that guy. Oh shit, now I don't have ammo. Okay, I'm just gonna run past them. Some of the enemies are big, some of them are small. I don't know why. I guess he just scaled them up, up and down. Slide, slide! No, no, no! What, what's going on? Why is my camera at the bottom of the screen? What the heck? What happened? He lost an arm! He lost an arm! What happened to his arm? His arm is gone. It's literally gone. <laughs> they like chopped off his arm. Alright, I'll just keep going, I guess. Oh my god, this level is glitching out. I look huge from down here. Am I flying? I think I'm actually floating above the ground. Uh oh. Oh, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Oh, crap. Okay. I guess we're just gonna run past them. I don't think they can hit me. I think I'm, like, glitching the wall. Hopefully I can go through this teleporter. There we go. Sweet. Alright, that was level 4. Time to go to level 5. Uh, that glitched out on me. I'm not sure what happened to my arm. And I couldn't shoot, and I was kind of like stuck in the ceiling. Um, or the floor, I should say. Alright, some guns in here. Oh, crap. Give me the gun! Give me the gun! Give me the gun! Oh my god. Do they really expect me to fight monsters while trying to pick up these guns? There we go. I got a gun. Okay, now I'm just gonna try to run into a safe spot. You're dead crazy mutant zombies. Okay, he's dead too. Alright, there's some ammo over here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Who knows, we may need it. One more clip. Alright, making some good progress. We may actually beat this game in one video. Well, that'll be pretty cool. Maybe see the release of Half-Life 3, once we get the code back. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe this way? Oops. I clicked off the screen again. The mouse cursor does not seem to stay in one place. Okay, this is not the right way. I think I need to climb over the- oh wait, I can just go through there. This should be the right way. Uh-oh. Well, maybe not. Maybe? I don't know where I'm going. So many monsters. Get out of here! Can't. I can't jump past this. I have to wait for the despawn. So where is this portal? Whoa, look at that guy. That's a new enemy, I think. He died fast. Does he have like a shark head? Strange. Oh, he's a little bugger. It's like a face hugger. Alright, I think the arrows might be pointing me where I'm supposed to go. So let's go, I guess, this way. There's some generators. Oh, wait. I think I need to go. Yeah, the arrows are pointing me this way. Alright, he's dead. And then left. And then through here. And then, wait a minute. Is it just telling me to go in a circle? I think it's just telling me to go in a circle. Um, uh, hmm. Pretty sure I just walked in a giant circle. That was dumb. Let's just go explore over here real quick. Oh. Alright, this must be the right way. Ah, oh, I keep clicking off the screen. Every time it freezes like that, it's because I'm clicking off the screen, because the mouse does not stay within the border of the game. There's no way to, like, 
force it into full screen mode. Like full screen mode is basically like windowed, like borderless windowed. So there's that. And now I'm stuck again. So let's just uh, wait a few seconds. Can look at my nice butt. Okay. Where are we going? I guess we're just gonna keep going straight. It's on the ground. Oh, just lights. I better not die here. If I die here, I'm just gonna skip to the next level. This level is way too long. Um, okay, so I'm probably supposed to go down there. Oh, slide down the stairs. <laughs> oh, there's the portal. I found it. Yeah, I just glitched. Oh no. Did I seriously break the game by... No, I was so close. No. I glitched through the stairs because I slid down the ramp. Alright, no more sliding. I guess you can glitch through textures. But I basically completed this level. I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a pat on the back. I did it. And look at... Look at... What in the world? <laughs> oh, okay. Main menu. Story mode. So that was level... Was that level 5? 1, 2... Four, five. I think that was level five. So let's go to level six. If I skipped a level, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, okay. But pretty much every level seems very similar, so you're not missing much. You can uh, play the game yourself if you uh, are burdened by that. The music changed. I can't pick up this gun for some odd reason. <laughs> what the? I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. It, it just looks, his face looks so funny. Ooh, I got a new gun. What is this? Sort of like an assault rifle. Um, probably a, I forgot what it was called. I remember it from like Call of Duty, like the G36. I could be completely wrong, but that may be it. Why is there ammo floating sniper bullet box? I didn't know there was a sniper in this game. Key A, key B, key E? Are you kidding? What is with all these keys? Key C? And it doesn't look like I can get the ammo box up there. I'm just gonna keep going. Why did I pick up just like 10 keys? Or just more like five keys, but whatever. Gail the shark head. Oh, you can run fast. Okay, that gun actually isn't very good, surprisingly. From the seams of it, like, this gun is probably the best. And the AK, I guess. Anyways, where are we going now? Oh, that's the portal? That's the end of the level? Are you kidding me? That was the shortest level ever! Now if you want to play level 1 or go immediately to the final level, you'll have to quit and restart the game. Okay, so I can go to level 7. I'm pretty sure level 7 is not the final level. So let's go ahead and get through this. Get some ammo. Oh, it's called the, the UMP 45, I think. I'm just glad the bullets actually hit the enemies. Okay, so anyways, let's just run through here. We don't have to deal with all these guys. We're faster than them. Valve should really make a, like, a full-out game where Gabe Newell is the star. Starring Gabe Newell, Half-Life 3. I love how you just slide past them. Alright, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go left. Oh, crap. Alright, well, screw that plan. Oh, dang it. 
Okay, I'm gonna shoot at them this time. If they're in my way, I'll shoot at them. Oh, there's the portal. Oh, that was an easy level. Whee! Okay, so there is a final level. I have to restart the game to get to it. Alright, back again. It's pretty crazy that you have to restart the game to get to level 1 and the final level. So here's the final level. I guess the two levels with cutscenes are the ones that uh, cause the game to kind of glitch out. What is this? Log 8. Do we just go up to this monitor? Release Half-Life 3? Delete Half-Life 3. We're gonna release it. After cleaning up the headquarters and the space station of Valve, Gabe decided to release Half-Life 3 for the good of all and then came back to Earth to have a conference about it and immediately published the game on Steam. Let me turn up the volume, I guess, and let's watch this cutscene. And now, Game News. This is Gabe Newell, I work at Valve. After 10,000 years in development, welcome to Half-Life 3. Hopefully, it will have been worth the wait. Thank you very much for coming. This is the dream right here. Wake up one day, open Steam. To stop a gay Ben, take control and press the gay Ben. Oh my god. Gay Ben, gay Ben, gay Ben, gay Ben. To stop a gay Ben, take control and press the gay Ben. Yeah. Gay Ben, gay Ben, gay Ben, gay Ben. To stop a gay Ben, just kind of silly. Press the gay Ben. In addition, to stop a gay Ben, take control and press the gay Ben. Hopefully, to stop a gay Ben, take control. You probably can't even hear me. Um, but this is a good experience. I thought it was funny. I thought it was pretty hilarious, especially playing as Gabe Newell. I mean, that's just awesome. So yeah, if you want to uh, check this game out on Steam for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Game Newell Simulator, and hopefully you'll try it out yourself. Otherwise, hopefully you had a few good laughs, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.